So I, th I thought I thought it was really um, um, insightful of you to come up with this new hybrid program where say, hey, listen, let's get all the real estate agents licensed. Yeah. Let them let them uh, sell mortgages. Let them originate mortgages. Realize, and a lot of realtors don't realize that. Real in real in, you know, you could be a realtor and a loan officer at the same time. Right. Um, why not be compensated? You know, and um, right. you don't have to pass the baton. Right? You don't have to. That's pass it. it. Keep it internally and capitalize on it. Sure. Offering a one-stop shop service that's so transparent and has a layer of protection that. Referring an MLO and a different company that doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Remember, the human element is still involved when you're referring a person, a sales representative that works for a lender, a broker, or a big bank. Right. That person's personal interests are always involved with a particular transaction. That their position as an MLO is slowly being eliminated. But there is a new position for MLOs to be able to capitalize on, and it's the management position. Being able to manage hybrids that are the tip of the arrow on right. the front line, sure. working with all of these clients and do what they know how to do best, which is really review a scenario. Because not every scenario is going to get approved right. through a digital platform. Uh, there's going to be a human element that still needs to step in and kind of review something based on self-employment documents mm -hmm. um, or different type of niche products that are available based on bank statement programs that we were talking about. Um, so I do see the industry changing and it's going to change quickly. Yeah. Uh, and the hybrid agents that are going to be a part of it in the beginning stages will capitalize for the future. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, why not double your income based yeah. on the same amount of volume that you're doing? Yeah, I think that I think that MLOs and loan officers as a whole, the industry is getting shrunk is going to shrink at an extremely rapid pace, in my humble opinion. Right. Um, but um, but but the best of the best are going to survive in managerial positions, uh, supervisor positions, whatever whatever the title is, right. in overseeing high level scenarios and what they're going to do is they're not going to they're not going to be out on the road um, you know, feeding sushi real to realtors yeah. no they're not going to do that they're yeah. going to be they're going to be in an office reviewing scenarios only doing the things that are that are uh, very high level. things things that are out of the box right. right reviewing files is that correct what right. happened yeah. why has this not happened sooner and i think it's because there are still a lot of industry professionals in in the loan originator position right that are re highly resistant to change would you agree on that 100 percent. why would an agent's current relationship and mortgage loan originator want them to be an originator themselves mm -hmm. if, they, if they were to do that they wouldn't refer to business to them anymore sure and they wouldn't be making a commission that they make anymore. sure um but also the mortgage company owners and operators and managers they haven't introduced it because it would go against their current model and all their current employees that are so dependent upon these agents. Right. So a lot of these companies aren't <clears throat> built for it and can't transition to it either. Right. Uh, but also they haven't really been focusing on technology and developing the proper systems and, and integrations and connections in the back end to be able to have this type of platform that's mm -hmm. available for an agent to become a hybrid agent mm -hmm. uh, or for the MLOs to be able to do their job um, um, quicker, faster, better. Uh, what's well, really important for agents and mortgage loan originators to really understand, it's technology is changing, but the consumer behavior is changing just as much. If not faster. If not faster. Right. You need instant gratification, right? Correct. Right. Yeah. And I talk about this on every single one of our videos. You have to adapt to the current millennial generation because they are the largest percentage, especially the first time home buyers right now in today's market. Mm -hmm. And it's a different generation. It's a generation that's uh, high tech, high touch, uh, they expect high service, um, and they want to be able to have transparent solutions and digital platforms that can do it instant service. Because right. now as a hybrid agent, you're not only offering purchase transactions, mm -hmm. um, you're also offering all your past clients refinance transactions, sure. debt consolidation, sure. cash out, rate and term. Sure. Uh, we and there's a huge consolidation that's happening and tech is going to be one of the biggest disruptors in our industry. And I'm looking forward to it. It already is, yeah. It already yeah, is, yeah. number one. I'm looking forward to it because the most important person is being protected, mm -hmm. the client. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the professionals that are going to adapt the technology, the artificial intelligence, the bots, the algorithms, and the systems to be able to offer their clients the best service or the ones that are going to survive. So the transition is happening. The service is going to be better for the clients. The clients are going to get better interest rates, better programs, and really a better overall service from hybrids. All right.